Hey gamers, welcome to Gamer Guide channel. I am Rollin and Robocraft and Gamer Guide, and today we're going to be talking about some of the changes made to hovers and looking at one of my newer inventions, the Electromantis EP27. Uh, of course, EP27 stands for 27 electroplates, which this thing sports. Um, we're also going to be talking a little bit about proposed changes to Robocraft. Um, first, let's talk about the change to hover. These uh, hovers have been made a little bit looser as far as their control goes, uh, meaning that you have some drift now when you're turning corners and stuff, which I think is kind of fun. I don't mind having a little bit of uh, drift when it's on the horizontal axis, so left and right drift is not too bad. Um, I have noticed, though, that in some of the other designs, there is even some vertical drift, and I think it has to do with uh, configuration of your hovers and stuff, and I don't think that it's working probably as intended in some situations. Uh, my Samurai build, which I put out about two weeks ago, suffered from a little bit of this I noticed uh, after hitting or go jumping off a cliff. It would have something that looked like vertical drift up and down, where your nose would kind of drift down or up a little bit, and it shouldn't because of the uh, T-configuration and how light the front is supposed to be. Uh, but they do, and so one of the things I found is adding a rear, one of these uh, fins. This is one of the T10 rudders. Basically, this will help prevent some of that uh, extra instability. Uh, you still have drift left and right, but by adding one of these fins, uh, you don't really have the same control problems, I've noticed, of, as a, of craft that just has pure hovers. Now, this is actually an inline... Um, Hovercraft, which wasn't something that was really a viable build before uh, hovers were kind of improved. And now with the way they've redesigned these where they're not quite as stable, um, this is a little harder to do again. However, with this rear rudder, um, it's not a problem at all. It still works as intended because some of the instability issues uh, are fixed by having a um, rudder. So I would say this is a good solution if you have a vehicle, a hovercraft, that is not working as well as it used to. You might try finding a way to add one rudder like this um, to the back of it. And uh, I've noticed that it seems to really help a lot. You'll still have a little bit of float left and right, uh, but it will be stabilized float and uh, you won't be rolling in circles and stuff like that, I've noticed. Now on this particular vehicle, um, like I was saying, I used the mini plates. This is not a uh, build, by the way, that I'm recommending you go out and uh, try to emulate right away until you see what FreeJam is going to do with the patch because these little mini electroplates have uh, been talked about, or the FreeJam has talked about toning these down where they're not as viable really in the end game by basically um, downgrading the armor va factor on each of these to be comparable with the CPU you spend on them. But I think that would essentially kind of make the small plates under probably tier 5 uh, not as attractive to use because they're just not going to hold up against uh, rail shots and SMG fire or plasma blast as well uh, when you could invest that towards blocks and probably have better results. So I hope they don't do it because I uh, like having more options to build things like this, uh, lightweight crafts that still can be pretty hardy defensively. Uh, even though blocks, I think, are still considered better, you know, for CPU invested, uh, things like medics and things that aren't supposed to be toe-to-toe -to -toe fighters can benefit a lot from having more options than electroplates. I do get some perfect games out of this particular configuration, meaning that I get lots of healing in and zero deaths. Um, so it is very powerful. I'm not going to deny that. Um, but I think that's, you know, just a lot of trial and error and putting together different builds. And I'm, uh, you know, of course keep coming out with innovative ways to make new robots and I don't think necessarily we need to penalize people for making good robots um, especially when it's a support class like this. Now you could put SMGs on this and it's a fairly tough little vehicle but it's certainly no tank and if you're going up against a block heavy tank toe-to-toe -to -toe, and you're getting it out uh, this is probably going to lose but if you're more of a uh, quick vehicle you know darting in and out uh, hitting and going kind of guerrilla warfare style with SMGs this would work pretty well. Now these electroplates are still very heavy and they had done a change a while back where they increased the weight on these so something with 27 electroplates like this doesn't move quite as fast as something that has lighter amounts of them. So like my original Electromantis which used the 10 10 plates, the big ones, uh, about like eight of them, that moves a lot faster. It's about 220 miles an hour where this vehicle moves at 185. So much slower but also much tougher. So it can take a lot more shots 
because uh, of the microplating and also very good against uh, getting hit by bombs or rails from overhead as these microplates are hard to hit twice and the damage spreads out very well so you're able to last uh, and take, you know, sustained fire or people hit, you know, trying to hit you at a distance. So I've been happy with it overall. Like I said, though, I would definitely wait on trying to emulate this until you see what the changes are going to be. Uh, the other change they've suggested is uh, taking rails effectiveness down a little bit. Um, on that one, I'm a little mixed. I mean, rails are very powerful, but at the same way, you know, people have put that out there. Um, I think there's probably a better way to handle... Uh, balancing the game than detracting or taking away from something. You know, you can make blocks a little more armor, you know, a little bit better. Um, there's just a number of ways to handle the same issue. Maybe, and what I, the way I like it the best is if they would just introduce some new element to the game that kind of is a good counter to rails or provides another option uh, to deal with things like uh, bombers, you know, instead of having to use rails. And they had talked about adding a new gun type, which I think is great, but I think if they're going to do that, they don't necessarily need to take away uh, from rails or from electroplates. Now, one of the other suggested changes uh, in a recent forum posting was that they lower the overall damage that you get at the end with the overclocking, like at uh, overclock 13. And I'm okay with that. You know, if they want to, across the board, detract a little bit from each of the different weapon types and make uh, games last a little bit longer, um, that's okay. You know, that's kind of, that's not really a, a specific nerf to one particular type of design. It's just across the board, they want to make things last a little bit longer or be more competitive. So fine, you know, no problem with that. So anyway, that's just a little look here at the Electromantis. I was going to show you a game I played with Rosefall and uh, Shockwave, two of my friends here in Rubblecraft, uh, where we had some good games. One of them I recorded using the uh, Electromantis EP27. So that's going to be coming up next. But uh, before we get into that, I'd appreciate it if you guys would give me a thumbs up and leave a comment. Uh, if you're new here, please subscribe and tell somebody you know about this channel if you enjoy some of my builds or uh, some of these design videos and talk about Rubblecraft. So yeah, send them my way. This is Gamer Guy Channel. Gamer Guy's all one word. Uh, they can just look it up, you know, youtube.com slash gamer guide. Anyway, let's go ahead and take a look at that. Uh, thank you so much for being here and I will be putting out my uh, Roto Raven build video later this week. It's going to probably be midweek before I get a chance to work on that. Enjoy the video, and I'll see you guys in the next one.